Welcome to the Amphenol Broadband Product Installation Training presented by Extreme Broadband on the Mocha Gateway Splitter Model IPGSM04D-VF. In this training, we'll provide a gateway splitter overview, show the gateway splitter port layout, explain the port functions, and show Mocha and cable TV signal flow through the gateway splitter. The Mocha gateway architecture is becoming very popular with Mocha home networking. This is where a Mocha gateway device is used as the main DVR for recording and shares its contents with Mocha clients. The gateway needs to receive CATV signals to record content. It then shares its content to Mocha clients via the Mocha frequencies. With this architecture, we can use it to our advantage to provide better Mocha loss and help eliminate ingress into the return path. If there's no need for CATV frequencies to the Mocha clients, if we filter out the CATV frequencies to those outlets, then any ingress at CATV frequencies at those outlets cannot travel back on the return path, thus reducing ingress in the return plant. Next, the splitter ports feeding the Mocha clients do not need CATV frequencies. We can tune those ports only for Mocha frequencies and reduce the port to port loss at the Mocha frequencies. Let's take a look at the port layout and their function of the gateway splitter. As with all the extreme products in the TrueFlex housing, the input port is located in the upper left and is identified with a white port color. To the right of the input is the modem port, identified with a blue port color. A standard modem or Mocha modem can be connected to this port. In the lower left is the RF output port and is identified with a yellow port color. Traditional CATV legacy devices such as TVs and set-tops would be connected to this port. To the right is the gateway port, identified with a green port color. The Mocha gateway would be connected to this port. On the right side are four Mocha ports, identified with black port colors. The Mocha clients or Ethernet coaxial bridges would be connected to these ports. There are two TrueFlex tabs that provide flexible mounting options and a built-in bonding block to provide an electrical bond if needed. And there's a side label for easy port identification when mounted horizontally. The Mocha Gateway Splitter provides two-way communications from 5 to 1002 MHz between the input, modem, gateway, and RF output ports. It also provides Mocha communications from 1125 to 1675 MHz between the modem, gateway, and the four Mocha ports. There's only 18 dB of loss between the modem, gateway, and all of the Mocha ports. This is what makes the gateway splitter unique from other splitters. The Mocha signal is blocked to the input and RF output port, so there's no external point of entry filter needed. Let's look at the signal flow through the gateway splitter. First we'll follow the traditional CATV frequency path. The input port will pass traditional CATV frequencies from 5 to 1002 MHz. From the input port, the signal flows to the RF output port where CATV legacy devices such as TVs and set-tops will be connected. The input port also feeds the modem port where a standard or Mocha modem would be connected. The input also feeds the gateway port where the Mocha gateway device would be connected. Now let's look at the Mocha signal path. The Mocha modem needs to transmit and receive Mocha frequencies to communicate to other Mocha devices such as the gateway or Ethernet coaxial bridges. So the modem port also passes Mocha frequencies from 1125 to 1675 MHz. The same thing applies to the gateway port as the gateway needs to communicate to the Mocha clients at the Mocha frequencies. The modem and the gateway ports are the only two ports that pass both CATV and Mocha frequencies. 
The Mocha client devices only need to communicate with the gateway at Mocha frequencies, and there's no need for traditional CATV frequencies at these devices. So this is what separates the Mocha gateway splitter from traditional CATV splitters. As the gateway splitter only passes Mocha frequencies to these devices, the loss between any Mocha device is only 18 dB, providing excellent Mocha communication. The Mocha port can also be used for any dedicated Mocha device, such as an Ethernet coaxial bridge. Since the input and RF output ports are isolated from the Mocha frequencies, there's no need for an external Mocha point of entry filter. Let's review what we learned in this training on the Mocha Gateway Splitter. We provided an overview of the Gateway Splitter, showed the Gateway Splitter layout and port colors, explained the port functions, and showed the Mocha and cable TV signal flow. Thank you for viewing this product installation training on the Mocha Gateway Splitter. For additional training topics, see our website at www.amphenolbroadband.com